Here we go again, boys. Yeah, what's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it. We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it. Please, none of the talks, I heard enough of it. Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really about this. Don't talk about it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ain't ships. Red cup, blue strips. New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from. So I already know a lot of y'all are wondering what's going on, but by the title and the thumbnail, you probably already know. Vader is about to go to the dealership right now. The transmission ended up taking us on the kid. We got a check engine light and all. One of the solenoids ended up being shot. And so now the car is driving hella funny. So thankfully, Chevy's warranty stops at 60K for the powertrain. So it's covered. Um, we just fingers crossed that they have the part in stock. And we'll have Vader back by tomorrow. But if not, then it is what it is. I'm about to get the car loaded up and then I'll talk to you guys some more. Get y'all boys one more startup. So basically what's going on here is I'm getting pulled onto the tow truck and I recording on my phone and within the moment I didn't even realize that when I put my phone down the AC was on. So as y'all can see I'm putting my phone down right now and the AC is on. I'm cutting on the JI Galaxy. But the AC is on, like I said, and you guys cannot hear nothing but straight wind noise at this point. So that's why I'm doing this voiceover as I'm editing the video, man. Didn't want to just sit there and have y'all listening to the AC, you feel me? But the whole time, I'm basically just telling y'all that it's just been one heck of a week, you know what I'm saying? But when bad times come or adversity strikes, you feel me? Just gotta remember to keep your head up keep pushing don't give up you know what i'm saying be resilient keep going because at the end of the day with every lesson comes a blessing you know what i'm saying so just keep on grinding man don't give up keep going as you can see buddy realized uh Vader's just a little bit too low shout out to bro i ain't gonna lie he really took care of vader made sure that all four wheels were strapped down onto the trailer as you guys can see, Broski went and got the um, the little wood planks to raise Vader up a little bit um, so we don't scrape that win at leaf front splitter. Also, y'all let me know down in the comments down below. Um, what do you guys think? Should I go ahead and get the carbon fiber front splitter for the car or should I keep the stock one until it gets damaged? Y'all let me know in the comments, man. I did a poll on Instagram and... Uh, Everybody told me to get the carbon fiber joint, so y'all let me know. I'm not sure. I'm still torn, but um, yeah, man, as you guys can see, Broski's just getting us all the way up onto the trailer now. Um, y'all stay tuned, man. If you haven't already, hit that like button. Hit that uh, subscribe button, man. At the end of the video, you guys are going to get the update on what the final um, verdict is and how long it takes. Um, so yeah, man, just stay tuned to the video, man. Appreciate you guys. Look, cap, uh, yeah, about to get out of the car anyway. Many unbearable hours later. Yeah, what is good, you guys? Welcome back. You dig what I'm saying? It's your boy J.I. I was about to say welcome back to another video, but I already opened up this video. It's been like three, maybe four hours since um, the last update you guys saw with me loading Vader onto the tow truck. Got my boy, Lord Frankie, in the goddamn mix. Shout out to my boy, scooped me up from work, and we're actually on our way up to the dealership right now because your boy forgot the remote to the J.I. HQ, so we gotta go grab that. Vader is down. The transmission decided it wanted to take a crap on the kid, man. No cap. Um, I kind of knew something was off about the trans 
for a while now and I actually made a video but I didn't drop it because I just felt like the content wasn't like up to my par so I just didn't drop the vlog but like legit the car has been acting funny ever since back when I first started data logging with the AEM wideband I know I don't know if you guys remember um, those I guess that little saga of data logging videos it was this pull that I'm about to put on the screen right now that told me something was wrong with Vader So yeah, y'all, as y'all can see, at the very beginning of the pull, I'm in manual mode. I'm down into the lowest gear that I need to be in. I floor it, and as y'all can see, the RPMs kind of build ever so slightly. And then as soon as it gets slapped into drive, then like the RPMs go crazy. And that was when I knew something was wrong with the car. I just didn't know exactly what it was. Then we went out to Dallas, got the car retuned, put the car on the track, as you guys saw, it lost power, all that. And we've been racking our brains like, bro, why the hell would the car lose 30 horsepower after porting the throttle body and the intake manifold? Well, if the transmission was slipping this entire time, ever so slightly to where we didn't see it on the dyno, and then at the track during the data logs it looked like the tires were spinning that would be a key reason as to why we would lose horsepower and the car hasn't been performing how i wanted it to perform how it's supposed to perform also when i got back from dallas when i was driving the car i noticed that like under like small accelerations small throttle um like small uses of the throttle the car like would shift into gears mad aggressively like legit like it was crazy and it would only be when i would be babying the car so therefore it was just like i peeped it and i was gonna do a transmission fluid flush and check the filter and see if i could see anything out of the ordinary or anything alarming and well the car decided to go ahead and tell me hey ji I'm stuck. All right. So like, here we are. Right now we're about to go up to the dealership. The car is actually on my boy Frank's Bay. So you guys will get like a little inside view of the Chevy dealership for the second time. For those of you who have been following since I first got the car. But just giving you guys an update, man. Yes, the Solenoid 7 in the transmission decided to take a crap. And the car is driving funny as hell. And it's also starting to make noise. So it's in Chevy's hands now. Thankfully, 60,000 mile powertrain warranty. Your boy is covered. I don't got to pay anything. I don't have to use the lifetime warranty that I got from the Dodge dealership I bought the car from because them boys was trying to play games. <laughs> so that being said, y'all, I'm going to cut the camera back on as soon as we get to the dealership. And then we'll close the video out at the dealership. Anything you want to say, my boy? Shit's fucked. <laughs> shit is fucked. But now this shit's gonna run smooth and 100%. So oh God. That shit's oh God. gonna quit. But we it might. sucks. It does. But we might gain some power. I doubt it. I don't know. I don't I, I don't know. We'll see. But we might. We might. Who knows? Maybe that bitch is 500 to the wheel. I don't know. We'll find out though. I'm so me down again for that pretty right there oh man damn see functional functional totally bro functional we actually can use this for me alright gang it's me still I'll see you again yeah man, there you guys have it coming. The car is dropped off at the dealer. These vets have definitely been talking to me very nice, especially that Z06. I'm not gonna lie. But, but, 
Vader should be straight. He should be all right. Hopefully, this shit will get here on Thursday. If not, then Friday, and I'll be back on the road by the weekend. But we'll see if there's any metal fragments or anything like that inside of the fluid. I don't want that car no more, you hear me? So that being said, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead, close this video out here. Let's roll in and roll that outro. Make sure you hit that like button, turn on post notifications, and subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment in the comment section down below. We'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.